What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Show, back with another video. Now, I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan. I really want to talk about this new game that's going to be coming out. Um, I'm excited, a little bit excited. I mean, I'm a little mixed on it, and I'll get into that. Now, during the Xbox Game Showcase, Microsoft and Ubisoft basically showcased a nice and captivating trailer for an upcoming Star Wars game. The new game is called Star Wars Outlaws. It's a highly anticipated open world game and it's slated for release in 2024. And basically in the trailer, they invite you to really kind of explore this, this first ever open world experience. And this is technically the first ever open world Star Wars. And the reason why that is so important, we'll get into that a little bit later, but that isn't a very important thing because a lot of these Star Wars games, I mean, basically all of them from what they say, have not been up world. Most of them been zoned and stuff like that. And this is new, this is exciting. I will, like I said, we'll get into why I think Star Wars probably is the most important open world you could ever have. Now, it's set between the gap of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, and it's a nice little thrilling, exciting adventure. A whole bunch of different planets, some familiar to you, some unexplored. The main character is named Kay Vess. She's a rogue. She basically like the female Han Solo. Like that character, the rogue, the scoundrel. If you now trust that with your trusty companion Nyx, you'll basically go through like the galaxy, criminal underworld, and clever tactics and betraying, double crossing people, and basically become like the outlaw. You know, it is named Star Wars Outlaws for a reason. Now, let's talk about this in two different ways. Now, I promise that I get back to the open world discussion. Let's get into that. First of all, I think this being an open world game is important because you know they're marketing it as like the first open world game. We had some very good games coming out in the Star Wars franchise, but to have like none that's truly open world, especially in this day and age where the technology is possible, I think it's un I think it's interesting because yes, I'm a I'm a big Star Wars fan. I will always love lightsabers. I was always love Jedi, but I do think a story as a scoundrel as like a thief would work. I really think it'll work. Um, you guys might not be familiar with it, but I used to play the um the MMO for. PC, like it's, it's a good game. I really do like it. Um, honestly, I wish it would have come to consoles. I play it a lot more, but you know, with PC, it's kind of like I don't feel like getting on every day for PC. I'm a very casual gamer, uh, so I play this game. And one of the most important stories in that game is like the bounty hunter slash, uh, not really bounty hunter, but like the what I would call the operative, the scoundrel. Basically, what I'm saying is that some of the most interesting stories come from those outlaws, come from those bounty hunters. Of course you would want to get a lightsaber. Every game is going to be cool with a lightsaber, it just is what it is. But now we're finna see what this open world adventure can really carry itself without it being a Jedi, with it just being a scoundrel, without it being a force sensitive. We really get to see, we really just get to see this unfold. I think uh, it's going to be interesting though. I know for a fact a lot of people is going to pass it because it is a female protagonist. For me, I'll give it a chance. For sure. I can't really think of any game specifically where... I don't want to sound misogynistic. No, that's not where my aim is. But I can't really remember any game with a female lead that I've ever finished. Not saying it specifically has something to do with them being trash or anything. It's more of the fact that I don't... When I play in the game, it's a form of escapism. You know what I'm saying? It's a form of injecting yourself into that fantasy life. When you play with a game that has a female main character, you really can't see it. You know what I'm saying? You can't really... Immerse yourself. It's important though, because there are gamers of all shapes and sizes, all races. So obviously, you want to have a person that may resemble you or somebody you can really relate to. You know, in a certain sense. I mean, obviously, we're not Jedi, so it's like it is what it is. Even with uh, the other Star Wars game, I'm not like a white male, so I can't really say it's it's fully through immersion, but. I can just understand where both sides are coming from. Like I said, me personally, I'm gonna play it. I just don't think I don't think I've ever finished a game with a female lead. Whether that be Tomb Raider, Horizon Zero Dawn, not necessarily saying it's bad. It's just it is what it is. Now, in terms of gameplay, they show like some of the world and like jumping on your spear and stuff and just kind of going out. This is kind of setting the way for an open world Star Wars game. I would absolutely love. Uh, I don't really know. Where this could lead. I think this is going to be big possibilities. Now, obviously, they could do a sequel in this series, but it would be interesting to see this really do well. Obviously, Star Wars is going to sell. Even people that really aren't Star Wars fans, like myself, like I'm a Star Wars fan, but not a big fan, even they are excited at the prospect of this. They actually thought it was originally Xbox. 
only, but no, it is for PS5 too. I think it's in a unique place. Um, I do want to kind of say some criticisms that people are having. A lot of people do not want to be stuck in this time period. I feel like I kind of can agree with them. Me being a Star Wars fan for quite a while, I remember when they had the other universe that wasn't a part of like Disney and stuff. I think it was called like the EU, the expanded universe. And I'm not going to really go deep into that, but a lot of people don't really feel like we should continue doing the same storyline over and over again. You know, it's always like the the... Dark Sidious and Dark Vader, and I feel like Star Wars has so much opportunity to tell different stories. Now, granted, this in general will probably have nothing to do with that. Like, unlike, unlike Kyle, she might not be a necessarily important cog in the machine. She might literally have her own story about, like, betrayal and everything else. I think, though, if you're doing a game like that, you have to have it so that your choices matter. I want to go to Mass Effect route. I want to be able to choose whether I let somebody live, and it may affect the story later on. That'd be a cool route to go with this game. I just don't specifically know if that's the route they can take or they want to take in general. Uh, me personally, I think I think it could be fresh. It's going to be a new idea. I think I'll definitely play it. It's Star Wars, man. So I love the world. I love the characters. Like, I get it. You know, I, I really do get it. New idea. Probably get us out the same time period. I really would love to see some stories about, like, after Luke is gone or... You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff in that route. Like, give me some stuff afterwards. Or even before. Like, way before. It has a, such an interesting history. But I would love to see what the Jedi teachings and stuff would be beyond Luke. Beyond the expanded universe. You know what I'm saying? I would love to be in taking place in those movies. Maybe you can fix those movies specifically. The newer movies. The newer set of movies that really aren't that well received. You know, give them extra context. And make a game around them. They could be good. But with that being said, guys, how do you feel about the Star Wars Outlaws? I think it could be cool. If I'm thinking they're going to make a good story like they should, I think it could be interesting enough for, for me to stick around for sure. Uh, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. <laughs>